So for today's species spotlight, we are going to be talking about one of Washington's grumpiest looking residents, the Western Toad. Now, Western Toads can be found in a lot of different places here in Washington. Uh, generally speaking, they occur in a variety of habitats, especially terrestrial habitats like prairies, forests, canyon grasslands, and the ponderosa pine Oregon oak habitat. Uh, so you can see they're in western Washington, central Cascades, and a little bit east of the Cascades. Now toads are pretty uh, easy to identify compared to our other frogs here in Washington. They have the really warty skin, they have those two huge glands behind their eyes, and they have that really kind of bright white dorsal stripe going down the back. Now compare this to some of our other frogs, like this cascade frog here, you can see that the frog doesn't have warty skin, those big glands aren't there, and there's no stripe going down the back. Now generally speaking, western toads are pretty clumsy, so if they're ever trying to escape from you, sometimes they just kind of dive off headfirst uh, from rocks. So they're not the most graceful of the frogs, they're not great hoppers or anything like that, um, and they move pretty slowly on land. You can also kind of see them hanging out in their ponds and in rivers and stuff, just kicking back with their legs back. Now, during the breeding season, which is generally April through about July in some areas, you can kind of see toads in what's called amplexus. So this is when the male grabs onto the female so that they can reproduce. Now, males are generally a lot smaller than females. Um, and because like other frogs, they have external fertilization, the female kind of releases these strings of eggs that the male then fertilizes externally. Toads are kind of different than other frogs here in Washington because their egg masses are actually laid in these two strings rather than balled up together. The strings can have anywhere from 12,000 to 20,000 eggs in them, which is super crazy. So you can imagine that when all of these hatch out, you get tons of tadpoles. Uh, so when they hatch out, you can see the tadpoles in these ponds or in the rivers and stuff, and they cluster together. So tadpoles that come from the same egg mass will often stay together. Uh, they're also easy to identify from other tadpoles here in Washington because they're completely black. So they have no type of modeling on them whatsoever, which makes them kind of a stark contrast to their environment. Now as tadpoles, they generally eat plant material or any type of kind of detritus and stuff that's on the bottom of the river or the bottom of a wetland. Um, they are somewhat toxic at this stage, uh, so you don't get a lot of things that eat them and there's safety in numbers, right? So even if one tadpole gets eaten, there's still plenty of other ones there too to carry on those genes. So you can see in this video, there are hundreds if not thousands of tadpoles swimming around in this little pond. Now, after the tadpoles metamorph out, they become these tiny little juvenile toads, which you can see hanging out around the ponds and hanging out in the forest. So here's a nice little quiz for you. How many little toads do you see in here? We found these guys hanging out underneath a rock right next to the river. And as you can see, they're in a bunch of different colors, like green and gray and brown and black. Now, toads spend a lot of their times in the riparian, so in forest. They actually don't go down to the water unless they're trying to breed, so a lot of times you can find them in the forest or along the banks of rivers. So because of this, 70% of the toad's diet is actually consisted of ants, which is pretty cool. So those glands I mentioned that are behind the eyes actually do serve a purpose, so it excretes the toxin that keeps the toad safe against a lot of predators. Um, however, the toads are still predated on by our native species of garter snakes, some mammals, and occasionally some corvids like ravens and crows. So although western toads can be found in a lot of different habitats here in Washington, their populations are in decline throughout all of their range here in the western United States, including Washington. Western toad declines have been documented in the Puget Trough as well as the lower Columbia River, and we've been doing a lot of research in the Chehalis River Basin to kind of monitor their populations there. So if you're ever out and about hiking in the woods, or if you're walking along a river, or maybe you're boating or fishing, keep an eye out for these guys. These toads are really cool to watch. They're really kind of charismatic and funny little animals, um, and they just bring a lot of happiness to a lot of different people. So keep an eye out for them. <laughs>